Hello, this is Chris McVeigh with KDE Direct. Today I will be going over how and when to properly check your KDE XF series motor's operating temperature. In order to properly check a motor's operating temperature, you need an infrared thermometer gun of some sort. Simply placing a hand or a finger on a motor is not an accurate way to determine if a KDE motor is operating in its temperature range. KDE XF series motors can handle temperatures much higher than other brands of motors on the market. Please refer to our knowledge base videos, episode 5, to fully review operating temperature ranges of product. The XF series motors can handle heat ranges based upon its components from 350 degrees F to 465 degrees F. A motor, while spinning, is an air pump and will have an operating temperature much lower than when it is stopped. The aluminum motor can will wick heat very fast from the winding to the outside of the can. This is what it's designed to do. The second a motor stops spinning and no longer has airflow, the system will heat up very fast. Taking a heat measurement second later after a motor has stopped spinning does not represent what the motor is actually operating at while in the air spinning with proper airflow. You must take a heat measurement as soon as the prop stops spinning. We try to measure several components in the motors to judge the overall heat range. Remember, each component in a KDE XF series motor has a different heat range that it can operate at. We measure the windings, the outside of the case for the magnets, and the bearings if possible. The windings can operate up to 465 degrees Fahrenheit. The magnets can operate up to 356 degrees Fahrenheit and the bearings can operate at 300 to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Taking the correct steps and fully understanding the components heat range in a KDE XF series motor will help you know if it's actually too hot for its operations. Thank you for watching.